Hi guys and welcome back to Tangy Tea of Life. I'm your host Veronica. Co-host Tawan is not with us tonight. She's out doing her thing with her girlfriends, having fun. <laughs> but I have my sis here with me to fill in. Always, Tasha. Always. Hey Tasha. <laughs> Hey, hey, guys. Oh, hey guys, how are you? I'm too busy dancing because I'm sitting here chilling with my sister. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so guys, tonight we have an email letter. And you know what? I didn't even read this email letter. So I'm going to be surprised, shocked, however. I mean, I don't even know what it's about. So let's get right into it. All right, so it's, the subject is accepting that the marriage is over. Mm -hmm. All right, imagine being married for 15 plus years, three beautiful kids, and then boom, you find out your wife is cheating on you. She is having an affair with everyone she comes in contact with. She even had an affair with her boss. Crazy, right? After all of this, I decided to divorce her in the beginning. Wait. After you, after I don't want to say that men, but you know, most of you, you can tell when a, a male is writing a letter from a female because most men don't put periods and mm -hmm. you know question marks, exclamation. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start over. Imagine being married for 15 plus years, three beautiful kids, and then boom, you find out your wife is cheating on you. She is having an affair with everyone she comes in contact with. She even had an affair with her boss crazy right after all of this i decided to divorce her in the beginning she was happy about moving on with her life and then reality set in one of then reality set in one of the men she was cheating with got married and now she wants her family back mm -hmm. whenever i post on social media her friends get upset and say stuff like you know your wife wants you back but here is the thing she had me, I was faithful, and took care of her and our kids. And she slept with everyone but me. And now that I don't want her, she is having issues inboxing the one I am seeing and her friends and throwing shade. And now the one I am involved with has backed off from me. And I really like this woman and it could lead to more. How do I get her to accept that we had how do I get her to accept what we had is over? And I mean over. Okay, so. The you got about three questions in there. Yeah, so this guy um, divorced his wife because she was cheating on everyone else but him. I mean, she was. How can he, I say she that? was this cheating on him with, with everybody. Every, yeah, with everybody else. Basically, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Right, and mm -hmm. then it wasn't making time for him. Exactly. They got a divorce, but now that the ex-wife see that it, the grass isn't green on the other side, now she wants him back, and she's interfering with the relationship that he had with this new woman. Now she's inboxing this new woman, and I guess but like he said, she knows the new woman. You get what I'm saying? How did she know all of this? Well, you know, little towns, if it's a small yeah. town, you know. And then they see each business. other together. Right. And so she probably put two and two together or word out that he's seeing this person. So now she's trying to mess up what you have with your new girl. Um, yeah, and see, and this is what people have to realize. The grass is not always greener on the other side. You may be having fun with this other person that you're cheating with at the moment. <clears throat> but who's to say that that person is going to stick around for you? You see that the man that she was cheating on him with left her. Well, not really left. He got married to someone else. I feel like when you do that type of stuff, I'm talking for him a single because mm -hmm. I'm not married and I can't give right. the, uh, this kind of advice but if you're talking to somebody to, in my opinion and you're seeing that this person is cheating on their husband and or their wives and blah 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 and then you turn around and the person breaks up or and come to you in the back of your mind you're going to always feel that he or she going to do the same thing to you. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like that Alicia Keys 
and um, what's his name? Swift. Swift. Because sometimes, to me, they look so happy. But at the end of the day, you knew how she got him. And I want to know how did she have, you know, mm -hmm. did she, like, really trust him, like, when it came down to certain things? You know See, what? I don't really know their story. I, you know, there there was stuff out there about she cheated on him with, you know, while he was married or whatever. But I don't know because then you hear that the wife and him wasn't together. I don't know. But yes. either way, it's messy. And I get what you're saying yeah. because if you're cheating with someone, what makes you think that they're not going to cheat on you once you get them by yourself? Yeah. Or, you know, especially in a marriage. Yeah. You know, that's like, I tell you, marriage is sacred you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. when you when you with this person you are with this person you got papers on this person to death do your part the whole mm -hmm. nine yards and when you break that covenant it's like who who can trust you right like that's a covenant that you your spouse made in front of god like, right that's how serious I take marriage, but some people don't take it mm -hmm. that serious. Especially these days. Like, they could care less. Yeah. And so, that's the scariest thing. And then you have some people who believe that it's okay for people to cheat mm -hmm. in marriage. They call them the swingers. You know what right. I'm saying? And she, that, that's who she might need to find somebody who enjoys swinging. Right. That has that open marriage yeah. type thing. And don't mind. But she's just jealous because of the simple fact he moved on. And the man she was cheating with moved on. Yeah. He got married to someone else. Now you want to come back home where you knew. Well, he's saying that he was faithful to you. You know, it seemed like things were, he was doing what he was supposed to do. But you wasn't satisfied at home. So you was out cheating with this person, that person, and that person. So now you want him back because I guess you know that you lost the good thing. But the thing is, when someone is fed up. That's it. They're fed up. And and this guy is... It, he's clearly saying that it's over. Yeah. So he want to know how do he how get do. her to accept the fact that he has moved on with his life. Leave her alone. Stop responding to her. Like, but they boy, have kids. Yeah, they have kids, but that's the so different. But see, that's the thing. You don't have to associate with that parent. Mm-mm. To be involved with your kids. No. And you have to, to a train, certain extent. You have to train the conversation. You got to train the other person to me on how to speak. Because like with me and my kids, dad, we don't speak nothing more, nothing less. It's always about the kids. Right. There's no, oh, I hope you're feeling better. I hope everything goes. How the kids don't. Right. How the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, the kids need this. This is the way it should go. Like. Yeah. And sometimes you got to be that straight, like, just yeah. straight to the point. Straight like, to the point. And especially if you're in this situation and you're trying to, like, <clears throat> let her know, listen, and you there's can't, no more us. Yeah, and she, he can't really be friendly. I mean, you could be friendly, mm -hmm. but sometimes women have a tendency when you be friendly, they think that you want them. Right. Take it they don't away. know the, like, if you go up and be like, hey, you're so beautiful today. Women be like, oh, he likes me. You're right. And you're like, he just said you was <laughs> right. He just gave, gave me. me. No, right. he likes me. He was flirting with me. And I don't know why women do that. How do you do that? You know, and the guy be like, how about this? You know, let's go to lunch or something. Oh, he took. We went out on a date. Right. Like, no. No, it's not a date. Y'all was just. To get something to eat. <laughs> like, really, where is this coming from? And yeah. maybe he's doing that. Like, he's doing different things or, you know, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like she got some personal, more deeper issues than what... I, what, I just feel... I, I feel like I she know. she know what she missed. She, she see now what she's been missing. Like, if he was faithful to her, like he said, now she see and want her family back. You got three kids with this man, but you wanted to run the streets. You wanted to be with this other person. But here's the thing what's kind of crazy. I don't even feel like a man wrote this. You don't? No, because for the simple fact, she ran the streets with three kids at home. So was he home with the kids while she ran the streets? You get what I'm saying? Half of this don't... Three beautiful kids, mm -hmm. and yeah. she was out cheating. 
So that means she wasn't settled. So who has the kids? Is the kids with him? You think the wife? You think she wrote the letter? I think so. Cause it, it doesn't make sense to me. It, but you know, you do have some a lot of men that would sit home with the kids. While so the, why are they divorce? Who got the kids? Cause I would if she's running out like this, I wouldn't let my kids stay with them. Would you? I wouldn't. So you you trying to you you're trying to figure out who have custody of the kids? Yes. Is she doing all of this running and sleeping over here doing this? Well, that when they was together, maybe she sat her down now. I doubt it, but maybe <laughs> <laughs> she want him back now. But that is a good question, sir or ma'am, whoever wrote the letter. <laughs> Let us know who, where are the kids? Are where the kids, kids with the man, with you, sir, or is it the kids with your wife? That is a good question. Then the craziest thing, her friends and stuff is inboxing his woman. It's a lot of craziness. Like, why would the friends... <laughs> like, why is your friends inboxing? And you do have messy people. We do know that. But... They must be real young. Because I ain't... You ain't about to call me telling me the Because he says, and now that now I don't want her. you can call her, me and be like, Tasha, let's go so, so and so. And I'll be like, okay, I'm about to pull up and we'll go. And we just going to pass by to see if the car did. If the car did, then we going to pass by. <laughs> then we're going to plot. And then we're going to come back. Like, <laughs> that, that's what we yeah. might. But I'm not about to inbox. And all. Right. I ain't going to be in the girl inbox. By but far. he's saying, I am seeing in her friends. Wait. And now that I don't want her, she is having issues inboxing the one I am seeing. And her friends are throwing shade. And now... And then, here's the thing about this. This Facebook stuff. When you post stuff on Facebook, a lot of people be thinking that you're talking about them. Because they're dealing with some type of stuff that mm -hmm. is so deep. And you're not even thinking about them. It right. could be something that you heard... That is like confirmation. Mm -hmm. And then you share it. And then now people think, oh, she throwing shade at me. Right. And it might not even be shade. It's like, yo, we just sharing this stuff. You right. know what I'm saying? And we don't even care about what's going on. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe the girlfriend's just full of drama. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, it definitely sounds like that. Because, I mean, and a lot of people be like, getting a... They, that getting fact, their feelings. Feelings right. over little simple stuff mm -hmm. on Facebook, and you have to explain yourself. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. This wasn't even about you. Right. I don't even know what's going on. Right. Like, I can't. I don't know. I I heard it, and I, I felt it because it was about me. And you shouldn't even have to explain that stuff. Exactly. But it's just, I, you remember, like, in, in business, when you, like, when I first went to business school or whatever, and they was talking about tech emailing uh, Chase, file review, analyst. And they was like, we went to class. And they was like, be careful how you email when certain emails don't sound right. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone and call. Because sometimes just reading something, you probably already in your feelings about something. And when you read it, you probably took it the wrong way. Right. So you have to hear, hear the person's vo voice. Mm -hmm. So basically... If they was throwing shade, she should have just stopped and said, hey, are you throwing shade about blah, 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 blah. And they probably be like, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You have to make sure what you feeling and stop assuming because we're so quick to assume. assume that they're talking, that someone is, is talking about us. Yeah. And they, right. yeah. and they don't even know what's going on. But so. this is a lot. And yeah. now that you say it, this is a lot like Man, do y'all think like this? Like, it's giving me a headache. <laughs> it's giving me a headache. Like, I was faithful but, and I took care of her and our kids. And she slept with everyone but me. Why? Because you was home working? You was out. You wasn't home working. You was out working and she was just staying home all day? Like. No, she couldn't have been staying home all day. Because she was cheating. Unless the, so he took the, care of the kids. So that means she, you get what I'm saying? I mean, he probably mean it like the kids when they get Providing. 
He yeah, like he's providing for but the kids. But that's what a man's supposed to do. He's cooking for the kids. He's that's you know because if she running the streets, how? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is a lot. It is a lot. You you might if you have a church, I would go to my pastor and do some type. Of- but see, it and it, it shouldn't even have to go. It, it, listen, y'all already divorced, sir. Tell this woman to leave you alone, point blank. And you hear this 15 plus yeah. years. So how old are y'all? But you know, sometimes it takes people a long time to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, she could be one of these childish women. You know, you don't want your man to be with someone else. And now you're trying to ruin it for the relationship that he's trying to have with this new lady. You know, you're inboxing her and, and saying she things. Left him alone. Yeah, he's saying that the woman, you know, pulled back from him or something like that, he said in here. But you know, because so of your crazy ex. Yeah. You and, gotta put uh, people in their place. You Don't to. even let it get that far to the point where this lady is getting ready to leave you because of your crazy ex. Like, put her in her place. Point yeah. blank. If there's somebody that you want to be with, let, let your ex wife know it's over. Like, I don't want you. The only thing we need to discuss is when it comes to our kids, point blank. But, you know, sometimes when you do that, she probably try to set him up or something. Like, he have to be careful. Like, yeah, I wouldn't even sleep. Because you people. have some people, like his ex-wife, will probably deliberately sleep with him to try to make herself get pregnant. It's just wrong. You got all of this crazy. This is too much. But I feel like it's not. It is a lot. It's a lot. And I'm. I'm sorry for you because I'm not even married. That's why I'm so quiet on this issue. <laughs> right. Because I, she can, you know, she's married, but she can probably tell you some. Leave, let her know. <laughs> Put her in her place. If this was somebody single, I'd be like, baby, like, oh, you, know? <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, like her, but <laughs> I, I, I don't. Yeah, I said, leave her, lo- leave her alone. I mean, let her know, point blank. We don't have to talk about anything but our kids. I don't want you. Sometimes you just have to look people in the eye and let them know, like, yeah, listen. Look, and if the kids is old enough to have a cell phone for Christmas, I'll buy them a cell phone mm-hmm. where I could just talk to them. Right. And I don't even have to talk to her. Yeah. There's a lot of ways that you could talk to your kids without even involving her and explaining to her, like, once you get your mind together, then maybe we can... This so, is this is a lot in this one letter. This is a lot, and I feel bad, like yeah. And I guess he tried to cram everything in here without giving me like two or three pages. Said in one. He obviously said it in one of the men she was cheating. They got married. Yeah, and, now and she had an affair back. with her boss. Like, how did he know that all of this happened? Because, you I know, mean, you have some people who assume all of this stuff. Yeah. But, and then again, <laughs> it's it's sometimes like, it's, it's easy to find out. Like, if you, you don't think co-workers in there watching. I don't. And sometimes you can't believe everything, but he had to have some kind but of. But for a man to stay with a woman that long. Oh, you have some. That stays that long. Probably for the sake of the kids. Mm-hmm. I mean, because, you know, not all men, not all men be so quick to, to leave, you know, their woman if they find out. This made me no Eight percent. I'm thinking twice about getting <laughs> married. What guy kind of be now and get on one day? Listen, baby, I don't know. I don't it's know. a lot to think pray. about. But, yeah, you do have some men that, will wanna, that want to hold on because they feel... I, 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 for some apparent reason, just like a woman would hold on she for stayed, so long. Look, she should have stayed with the boss. That <laughs> man, he probably was married. And he probably oh. didn't want her. He probably just wanted that, you know. Did she get a raise? That fun time. <laughs> Did she get a raise? <laughs> Sir, just let her know, point blank. Just let her know. There's nothing. There's nothing that you can do to bring me back to you. Period. But what about the friends throwing shade and stuff? Forget the friends. 
She got to be. And then, too, like, when you meet a woman, to me, like, if I put myself and I meet a guy and he got all of this stuff going on, I would like him to explain it to me off. That should be, like, the first thing. Like, if you come with baggage, let me know. Like, right off. This is what's going on. This is how it's happening. And I'm letting you know this now. Like, um... This is how I'm working on this situation. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to tell me the game plan. Like, she want to have some friends in your inbox. So, be careful with that. Blah, blah, blah. So, soon, I look at my inbox. I'll see a new friend that come named mm -hmm. Tanya in my um friend Facebook page. And I accept it. And then she start saying some crazy stuff. I know it have to be. And I wouldn't even tell him. I just, if I really like him. I wouldn't worry about that yeah. because at the end of the day, but I feel like the woman's probably insecure too because sometimes when you see all of this confusion and remember he stayed with her 15 years and he cheated. I mean, she cheated, mm -hmm. but that means he really loved her. Right. And the other girl is basically feeling threatened because she feel like she's going to win and basically go back to him. He's going to go back to him. So she feel like there's, the, here's this woman with three of your kids mm -hmm. and it's just me and every time she calls he probably goes run. Right, that's what I'm saying. Stuff. You gotta cut all that out. You and can't so, like, She's feeling alone. like, she's probably feeling like there's no winning with that. And sir, and you're never going to have someone else in a situation like this. That's why you need to go ahead and let this ex-wife know mm -hmm. right now that it's over, done, completely. Mm -hmm. So you got you just hurt feelings and all. Uh, it got me rubbing my head. Right. right. <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah. And I it's mean, sad. Who, who's going through all this right here though? Inboxing somebody, girl, y'all divorced, let it go. Like, let it go. And the craziest thing is like, I'm gonna go back to your last um thing, mm -hmm. and it's like every time you hear something, it's somebody's cheating. It's like a lot of cheating is going on. That's what I said. In the so last I hope week. somebody is getting tested. Everybody, mm -hmm. y'all gotta get tested out here because it's like people are just sleeping and mm -hmm. sleeping and sleeping, mm -hmm. and that's the only thing they can do is just go out here and right. sleep, sleep, sleep around. And then you're not worrying about who's sleeping. What, what you're bringing home to your wife or your husband. Yeah. They ain't worrying about that. They just worrying about getting, you know, having that fun, good time. Just for that, I'm going to say second. It probably was longer than that. And I don't know for him. No. <laughs> I don't know. And then he never got any. He's saying that she never showed him any type of yeah. affection. Well, that's because she's been getting from <clears throat> other places. So, and he was like the... Mr. Bever there or something. He was the, he was taking care of home. Mm -hmm. Like, how did she get the time to do this? And the, because he was home with the kids. I wish he was my brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been at your house. Like, what are we about to do? Oh, where she at? I'd have met. I'd have brought up the conversation. Have nothing, like, mm -hmm. sir. I don't have anything else to say. Just you stuff. can't say nothing. It's right. like, this is a tough subject. Wow. This is a tough email right here. Because mm -hmm. it's like, the fact where it took me is like the three beautiful kids. Mm -hmm. Then boom, you find out your wife is cheating. It's cheating you. So, it, <laughs> wife I, is cheating you. Yeah. I, <laughs> she... <laughs> having an affair with everyone she comes in contact with. That's not good. So are you and sensitive? He's over his... How you say over his... I can't say it. Help exaggerating. Yeah, come on. Everybody she beat, she pulled it out of her pants. That's no. She even had an affair with her boss. And why she doing all this cheating? It's something ain't right. Thank you, <laughs>
Who can't be? You done had three kids from them. Leave. Like. I'm not talking. I don't know. Sir, I, I, listen, I'm done. Finish. This, this letter right here is too much. You got to give a word of encouragement. I can't do that. I only can do that for the single people. Sir, like I said, go ahead and let this woman know it's over. It's done. There's nothing else to talk about. You all are divorced. You're cleaning your hands with her. Like, the only thing you all need to be talking about is these kids. Like Tasha say, if these kids are grown enough to have cell phones, get these kids cell phones, come talk to them that way without going through her. Mm -hmm. Like, I know there's going to be certain things you have to say, maybe say something to her about, but if you've been, you know, holding conversations like, how you doing, you know, how's work going, all of that craziness, cut it out because you, you're, you're still giving her um what's the word you still inviting her in and you know you know i was just thinking about this sorry for cutting you off mm -hmm. but there's another thing if you really like this other girl when your ex-wife come around make sure the other girl is with you mm -hmm. and once your ex-wife keeps seeing you with this up other girl mm -hmm. she's gonna back away because she knows that you're serious right like if she, you got to pick up the kids and stuff make sure that other girl is in the car with you mm -hmm. like every every time you see your ex-wife make sure that girl is with you mm -hmm. and i guarantee you she'll get the message and, really and go ahead and let her know stop playing games stop inboxing my woman like stop being childish within with the entire situation like you have to put your foot down with some people they just don't get the simple fact of no i don't want you you have to like get in there and like be mean pretty much so you're gonna have to toughen up because you seem like you're very um what's the word i don't want to say soft um I'm gonna go with soft. You seem like you're very soft, and mm -hmm. um, you 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 let your emotions get in the way because if you allow this woman, uh, 15 plus years, you was with her, and you saying that she cheat with everybody she come in contact with, you allow that that you you mm -hmm. I mean, you stay there during the fact whether you stay for the kids or whatever, but you should have um, been put your foot down with this lady. So now she, she feels like she can do anything and you will come back to her. So you write in this letter, you need to like really, really be mean to her. And that's probably harsh to not say. Not be mean, but stern. Stern. Okay, that's that's the perfect word. Yeah, you need to be stern. stern. Let her know that you no, don't want no. her back. Like, and don't sugarcoat. Yeah, don't. point blank. Just be straight. No. What you want? <laughs> well, why are you calling me? Yeah. What's Call up? the kids phone. Like, How the kids doing? And then, okay, hang up the phone. Yeah. And just leave it like that. But you got to break that. Yeah. Ooh. So, I wish you nothing but the best. But that's all I got. Because this right here was like four letters in one. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm hungry now. Yeah, I'm hungry too. But you know what? I meant to say this to my stepmom. Shout out to her. I know when her and my dad got together and you know a lot of being in a small town you had a lot of rumors mm -hmm. and you had a lot of people like that threw shade because they knew my mom and they knew my dad mm -hmm. but my stepmom mama joy she stood she was like I don't care like and you had some people that came to her and will tell her certain things and all of this stuff mm -hmm. but she stood and she's still there like and she don't care because you know why she loves him yeah. so if this girl walked away from you it's because she don't love you and she's not the one for you mm -hmm. honestly i'm talking about the girlfriend now the wife oh, the girlfriend like the girlfriend if she walked away but the thing is who wants all that drama that's the thing. The girlfriend inboxing her. I mean, the ex-wife inboxing her. But look, her you got to invite that stuff in. Why would she invite it in? Because if soon 
you throw shade, or I'm not gonna worry about the shade because I'm. But how I'm about a they keep cream. throwing and keep throwing and keep throwing? It's gonna be and a no, point where I'm be like, listen, Linda. And she didn't do that, Linda. <laughs> she didn't do it. She goes and tell him, listen. And she would have said, listen, I love him, and we gonna make it, and we gonna shine so brighter, and and better than what you had. And I understand, honey, that you are you are disappointed. But he's my man now. Thank you. Tell your friends to back off. And walk away. And I guarantee you, she'll leave him alone. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I love him. He's mine now. Sip on that tea. Thank you, hunty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love him now. He's mine. You know, everything happens for a reason. And I'm glad that he's in my life. Now I tell the friends that too. Oh, you going to share? Well, I'm happy. Yeah, because see, you didn't, the, the, this going to the, the girlfriend. Yeah. You didn't give her a reason now to fight for that man even harder. You didn't walk away. Mm -hmm. And that's all. And I made a friend's miss. But, oh, she had you to come and tell me that? Wow. She's miserable. And now you miserable. Miserable. Misery and joy. Right. Company. He loves company. Oh my god. And then I'll take pictures and stuff. I'll be all on Facebook. We be doing family photos with the kids. <laughs> all of us wearing white and hmm, smiling. Send her a Merry Christmas card. Now Lord you look, Lord. Listen, girl, she could be real petty. Now I'm petty betty from <laughs> I can be petty. Yeah. Petty. Taking pictures with them. Babe, let's go on a cruise. With the, kids. with the kids. Let's take the kids on a cruise. Mm hmm And be taking pictures and stuff. That's how you get it. I wouldn't have walked away from him. If he if he was that good, I wouldn't have mm -hmm. walked away. Mm-mm. He -mm. wouldn't pay me to walk away. For my happiness. Yeah, but how about if he was how about if he was one that was still, you know, talking to the ex and all that and he wasn't showing this this girlfriend that it was all about her. Maybe he was maybe he was showing signs. Well, okay, well, you know, I'm still gonna do a little something, something for my ex wife. Because um, I feel like if it was totally about the the girlfriend, she wouldn't have walked away like that. If he would have put his feet down with his ex wife. Oh uh, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he like he says. Okay. Yeah, well I'm, I'm done, done with that. I'm yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yes, yeah. sir. We need to watch some cartoons. Or I feel so sad, yeah, like <laughs> and I'm not laughing at your pain. But, but the thing is, is, he's so sad. He's not the only one going through this. No, that's the sad part. Yes, and it makes me scared. That's why I'm single today. It's because of this stuff. And again, like I always say, I had some good guys, right? Like, but when you hear stuff like this, you be like, man, that's for the birds. Like, right. I can go home and lay down and sleep, and I don't have to worry about right. anything, like thinking about anybody. That's going to do it for Tangity of Life. Sir, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you can work it out with the, the your new girlfriend. Maybe you could get her to come back and just, I don't know. But I wish you nothing but the best. Mm -hmm. um, don't let people um, steal your joy. That goes for everybody. Don't let people steal your joy because there's a lot of people out there that just want to come in and just make someone else's life miserable because their mm -hmm. life is miserable. And stay out of your friend's business. Right. Your cousins and all of this stuff. And stop so, putting people in your business. Yeah. That's the problem with a lot of people. You put people in your business. Yeah. It, 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 it should only be between, if you're married, it should only be between your wife and you. Are your mm -hmm. husband and yourself. Same thing with girlfriend, boyfriend. You don't want people in your business. Yes, Keep because, people out your business. Yes, because one thing about the girlfriend and boyfriend thing is like when you get in an argument or y'all get in a fight or the, and then you go back to you your, know, your family going to be like, no, and you, I you done it. I, yes, and then you get your family all round up yeah. and all of that and then the next two weeks Y'all back together in love. Right. I have done that. Mm -hmm. In my family, it was like, ugh. And I never understood, because I was so young, I never understood why my family didn't like my ex so much. It was because, actually, it was 
because of me. Yeah, because you didn't tell him all your business. And I told, I made him look bad. Right. But I played a role in into some of the stuff too as well. You hear me? I said some, but at some. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I made them look. I made him look bad, mm -hmm. and that's like the way he written that letter. He made her look like she's like oh, right. And it might not even be, be that bad. That bad. But well, he he's, divorced her for something. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he probably played a role in it too. Like when I talk to guys on the phone and I, I will, I will block a guy. We know. If I, <laughs> here's one, <laughs> here's one major way for me to block you. If I'm talking to you and somehow we get on exes mm -hmm. and you say bad stuff about your yeah. ex in your relationship automatically that's a block because i feel like one person doesn't do, do oh, yeah two sides to every story, it's two man. sides to every story yeah but you still hurt and you still and this is why you trying to bash and i have done it but when i when i got older i realized hey and i tell people i done a whole lot of wrong mm -hmm. i ain't lying i'm yeah, not perfect yeah, okay. but keep your family and stuff out of your business yeah. Yes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Tangy Tale of Life. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to be a guest, if you have topic suggestions, please email us at, email us at tangytealoflife at gmail.com. Go um, click the button like on Facebook and also go subscribe to our page on YouTube, Tangy Tea of Life. All right, guys, thank you so much, Tasha, for coming and sitting with me. Yes, anytime. I, I enjoy you. coming here. This is like one of my coping skills. This one of them just sitting here talking to her. Yes. We could do this all day. All day. But I am hungry. Yeah, me too. It's time to go eat, guys. We'll talk yes. to you later. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.